In the beginning, there was you. Uniquely formed and perfectly crafted. Personhood the likes of which this world had never seen. You brought constellations to their knees as entire universes bowed down to your majesty. The threefoldness of your being is nothing short of uncontested marvel. As I look up into the sky, I see just how luminously the stars shine. And you were molded by the one who spoke galaxies into existence. Never have I ever laid eyes upon one who was so exceptional, one whose mind is a chasm of untold wonders. Many men have set sail and embarked on journeys far and wide in search of what you hold. My own journey only came to fulfillment once I stumbled upon the path to your heart. As my feet grew weary and cold, my lungs short of breath and my soul still holding on to hope, I could only think of the joy I would attain to finally have you in my arms, to perceive in my heart a different kind of peace, to feel your soul call to mine at the sound of your gentle voice each time that you speak. For you, I would traverse these lands to the ends of the earth, for truly, no journey is too great when one finds what he seeks. Unto me, you have become the life-breeding sunshine to this heart once banished to the cold dark reality that was my despair. You have become the light that gently guides the petals of my soul free. You are the garden upon which I have planted this seed of love and vow to cultivate till death do us part. Unto you shall I literally litter the land with letters of love, my lady. From the abundance of my heart shall my mouth speak. I shall confidently uncover curses, cast a cage our consciousness, cure the clutter of cancer that corrupted these cardiac wars, and conjure care that will cautiously create what we created, for it shall conquer all. With one look, you have stolen my heart. Those eyes have served you well in the execution of your heist. I could stare into them all day long, captivated by your allure. Each time that you open them is like watching the birth of two suns at the edge of the cosmos. The heavens and the earth bear witness to how your protrudinous nature draws and captures the bounty of my affections. Nothing could ever put an end to my consistent and insatiable proclivity for that temple of a body, your beautiful soul, and those glorious imperfections of yours. I envy the sun and the countless hours it spends gliding upon your skin learning to glow like the light of your melanin. Truthfully, I can only look to God to guide me through the dark times that I may not have you in my arms, to strengthen us in moments things to get the hardest, and to remind us of the wisdom to wage war against the problems faced and not each other. No longer shall we be casualty in butters only meant to be conversations, tiptoeing our words like we tread on shells of eggs for fear of what chaos might break loose if we choose to express ourselves. No longer shall fear breed weight of control for you to crush my spirits under, scared to death that I would stop being as consistent as your heart that beats for me. Tomorrow might not be promised, but I pledge to you mine, my now and forever. I pledge to you, darling. No longer shall I feed into the lie of a union without flaws. For millennium, the institution of love has been marked by hard work and sacrifice, and ours shall be characterized by nothing less than that. Unto you shall I be knight in armor, ready to slay the dragons of fear, lay waste to the goblins of deceit, and cut down every giant of mediocrity. And so, I will love you. With wholeness I shall come to you and not burden you with my brokenness. I will love you. With boldness I shall lavishly love you and you alone with a passion that burns eternal. I will love you. Like the streams of water that flow unbroken, letting the journey be their final destination. Yes, I will love you, my dear queen, selflessly in every way meaningful to you till my last breath is drawn and I will let you love me the same.